The home's located in conservation area in Hunters Hill and it's a very sensitive environment in terms of what you're able to design. Primary challenge was how to design the contemporary home that the client wanted within this sort of heritage or historic precinct. Hello, I'm John Rose, I'm principal of TKD Architects Residential Studio. Welcome to Casa Cuya. It's a house named appropriately for the type of quality of light, building, materiality, the sense of casual quality living that it gives. The homeless design is inspired by really the client. This was a client with very high visual accessibility. Using modern technology, you can discuss design over imagery. And the challenge of that is that images of how the house should look have to be then integrated into the design so that they are appropriate for the here and now. The layout of the house and the way it disposes on the site firstly was governed by the streetscape. The house has a you know, sloping road and it's elevated. How you arrive was really important. It needed a progression. It needed something that A, gave you interest when you arrive and B, then helped you journey to the front door. Right from the front gates, when you see them, you're taken because they're designed differently. Part of that came out of necessity for the driveway and the way that the gates work as, as a pop-up sort of bollard gate. I love the way that that's transferred into the entry gate. We stand there with the same sort of feeling of what does this gate do. Once you come in, the transition from the street up to the front door, comfortable steps floating, the masonry feel of them over the pond, in the afternoon, the reflections of light that come off it, etc. All of that was something that, you know, perhaps is unusual in an entry to a house, but something that was quite important. And then once you arrive, you arrive in a atrium that the volume allows you to stand still before you keep progressing. There's a connection of light from upstairs to downstairs, and central to that is the courtyard from the dining room, which has a cutout from upstairs, has a pond located in it. It helps modulate the spaces that you've got from kitchen to dining to sitting as well. The inspiration behind the arches and the language of the house comes from, again, the client. What is central to a lot of our designs is strong walls, you know, giving a strong base to the house. And you'll notice the top floor is set back. It retreats and it has garden planting that'll hang over it and soften it. The idea of the arch was a beautiful way to create that rhythm. The materiality of the house was something that was thought about early on. It's a house that's been handcrafted by artisans. The lime-based marmarina renda, for instance, that's on all the walls, the movement it has, the way that it's been applied, the detail to which it meets other elements. You have steel elements meeting man-applied wet trade. To have them look perfect, to have every tolerance so fine, the house reflects all of that quality. There's a very strong language of natural stone used in the house. The detailing is all minimalist, so the idea that doors don't have frames, that your know, stone flows and gives you the ability to define each of the spaces. So central to the concept of the house was the stair. It not only adds to the public nature of the stair, your sense of arrival to the house, but also it's part of every space that you experience. It structurally is quite unique in the way that it does hold itself up from top to bottom without any other support, but still look like it's made up of a stack of individual elements. The idea of the sunken lounge works in this house design because it defines that space when you arrive. Going to a place, sitting down within it, creates a greater sense of community, I think. It's a place to entice discussion. Obviously the kitchen area and the back of house that we design in, in all our houses is so important to the way someone can live. It's a backdrop to the living spaces. And so it's very simply designed. It's got some lovely strong geometry 
The stonework has a, a lovely life. It's been beautifully mirrored or book matched as they call it. Very important to the house is the garden and centerpiece to that garden is the swimming pool. The nature of the way it's designed so that it's what I call a contemporary family pool. Uh, it's not about laps, it's about having a deep end and a shallow end that swim in for the family to enjoy. And if you look at the garden, that design philosophy has been taken through to the planting so that there's a definite relationship between the two. There's a feel that the house and the garden will keep growing together, they'll keep aging together. The master bedroom, apart from having you know, a wonderful suite in itself, has its own private outdoor space which forms the roof to the outdoor area downstairs. It helps utilise every part of the space, but it also allows you, again, to live from the, an adult's point of view, you know, separate to the rest of the house if you want. You've got space to escape. We have defined spaces, both internal and external spaces, that allow you to progress and connect yourself to the rest of the site. The years of experience dealing with the council allowed us to be able to have the confidence to design something which was slightly outside the norm for the area. Something that created a different feel than what would normally be expected for this area.